Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding sure made a lot of headlines. And ever since Prince Harry, or rather the Duke of Sussex has been married, he's so much more than just the bad boy we thought he was. Could it be that Meghan Markle changed him? Well, I'm sure she did. And we have 15 points that prove it was her. If you want to know it, then stay till the end. Subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Let's get started. There are 15 ways Meghan Markle changed Prince Harry for the better. Number 15. The part when Meghan managed to convince Prince Harry to step back. It's no secret that being a royal is stressful. On January 8, 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced they'd be stepping back from the roles as senior royals. They made this announcement on their Instagram page. The post said, After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year that is starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. But have you ever wondered why? Later that same year, the couple appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show and revealed everything there is to know about the royal family. Prince Harry was actually getting increasingly worried about his wife's mental health condition, given that he now knew what his own mother, Princess Diana, had to go through and what it was going to be like for Meghan. Meghan Markle herself stated that they both didn't receive support from the press or the royal family. She added, I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair. And that's the part that's really hard to reconcile. Number 14. She managed to make him perform yoga. We know being into fitness is a good thing, but have you ever thought of Prince Harry taking up a job as one? Well, neither did I. All we know now is that Prince Harry is a yogi. Also, we do know that Meghan Markle is all about yoga. However, there is one thing you might not know. Her mother is a professional yoga instructor. Well, now that Prince Harry is basically in a family that practices yoga, why not become a yogi? And it does seem like Meghan Markle influenced him to become one. She even said, We never thought Harry would be raving about yoga, but he loves it. But can you even imagine the Duke of Sussex performing those hard poses? All we can imagine him is from the time that he was a former military member. What do you think? Number 13. She helped him turn sober. If you watched our video where we talked about Prince Harry's dark past, we did mention how hard he liked to party. He made the headlines when he performed his infamous strip while playing the game of billiards in Las Vegas and the countless occasions when he was caught day drinking. However, after being married to Meghan, it seems like he gave up his old habit and stopped drinking to support his wife. And I'm sure you all would have noticed. Recently, he seems to appear calmer than he did before, and we think it's because of Meghan Markle. There was even a time when Meghan Markle didn't drink because she was pregnant, and that was obvious. However, her husband Prince Harry also decided not to drink and joined her. He went on a three-month alcohol-free period. And we all know that doing such a thing is difficult. Well, we wouldn't blame him, since he's been drinking since he was a young teen. So, going sober for three months is quite an achievement. Number 12. Prince Harry ditched his carefree attitude to be a protective father and husband. After tying the knot in 2018, Harry went from being one of the world's most eligible bachelors to a happily married man. The next year, 2019, his son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was born. And it was at this time that Harry revealed something that intrigued the many who heard what he had to say. He said that after becoming a father, he was terrified of his wife experiencing the same fate as his mother, who similarly faced intense media scrutiny. With the birth of his son, Harry was spurred into action and took the necessary steps to get his wife and child out of the United Kingdom. Harry said, I then had a son who I would far rather be solely focused on rather than every time I look into his eyes wondering whether my wife is going to end up like my mother and I'm going to have to look after him myself. This was also one of the reasons why he left royal duties. He felt trapped and controlled. But now that the couple has two children, Archie and Lilibet, 
Harry tells NBCS Today that he loves having two little people he's responsible for. Number 11. He doesn't mind talking about his mental health. Members of the royal family don't really talk about their mental struggles openly, and you'd seldom find someone doing so. However, when Prince Harry tied the knot with Meghan Markle, he was suddenly ready to share his side of the story, which included the truth about the royal family, including the good and the bad. Mental health is still something that is unaccepted to talk about. However, on the other hand, Prince Harry found it more comfortable to talk about his mother, late Diana Spencer. We understand that this is a sensitive topic, considering that he lost his mother due to an accidental cause. Learning that Harry is now able to speak up about how he felt, he sure does say a lot about how he's changed. If you saw videos of Harry when he was younger, he simply didn't want to share anything about Diana's tragedy. He said, I don't want to think about her, because if I think about her, then it's going to bring up the fact that I can't bring her back, and it's just going to make me sad. However, because of his supportive wife, Harry said that he has no doubt that his mother too would be incredibly proud of him as well. He added, I'm living the life that she wanted to live for herself. I'm living the life that she wanted us to be able to live. I've never felt her presence more as I have done over the last year. Number 10. He's at better terms with his dad. If you've been following the relationship between Prince Harry and his father, King Charles III, you'll know that it's not the best. However, we on the outside can only understand so much by just observing familiar relationships from the outside. Now, things seem to have changed for the better. Prince Harry recently confessed that his relationship with his father, King Charles III, had changed for the better since he married Meghan Markle. Though at the beginning of their marriage, the couple did not receive any support from the royal family or the press, just recently after making amends with the royal family during the late Queen's funeral, they seemed to be on good terms. Though we know that Prince Harry wouldn't have been the first to suggest it, we think it's all because of Meghan Markle, and we sure love her for that. Number 9. He makes sure to eat healthy food. If you've followed Meghan Markle for quite some time, you'd realize that she has always been vocal about her love for food and healthy eating. She also often posts about the same on her now-defunct blog, The Tig. She has been seen eating a gluten-free diet, and according to her, doing so makes her skin glow. She also believes in drinking a hot cup of water mixed with lemon, which is believed to help improve digestion. Apart from these, there are other healthy eating mantras she follows, and it seems like Prince Harry too has started following her lead. She has always preached the benefits of clean eating to her husband, and it seems that Prince Harry now starts the day with a green juice. A source told Vanity Fair, Meghan is definitely behind his new regimen. They both see a nutritionist and are into their supplements. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below. Number 8. He has embraced new hobbies. We've mentioned earlier that Prince Harry is now a yogi, but he doesn't do just yoga these days, and it's not all about yoga in the Duke and Duchess of Sussex household. What we know about Prince Harry's routine today is that he reportedly works out first thing in the morning. He has also started wearing the sleep and fitness tracker or ring during the day, presumably to make sure he's hitting his target step count. Apart from building such healthy habits, we also know that he has stopped drinking and partying, which was what he was known for. What a great head start! Number 7. He said goodbye to smoking. Smoking is a habit that most adults seem to pick up in their early days. Prince Harry was no stranger to this. He picked on this habit when he was a teenager and could reportedly smoke a pack a day just a few years ago. But all that changed when he got engaged to non-smoker Meghan Markle, who apparently didn't want the smell of cigarettes lingering around. A source told the Daily Mail, Harry has promised no smoking at all at home. It's not nice for Meghan as a non-smoker, so there's no more hanging out of the window for a quick puff. Harry has quit for Meghan. Sometimes, you just need the right motivation to make better health choices. So, I guess their wedding isn't the only thing changing history. Number 6. He's becoming more MIA from the paparazzi. There's one thing we all sure noticed. He's becoming more private, and he's also distancing himself from reporters. But why? Well, do you remember the paparazzi around him during his teenage days? The days during Princess Diana, 
when Kate Middleton gave birth to her three children. Well, the media was glued to what was happening around them. However, when the time came for Prince Harry to show off his newborn son Archie, he and his wife waited a few days before showing baby Archie to the world. Additionally, also in the past, Prince Harry and Prince William also made a point of buddying up with the media during world tours, inviting them for drinks or tea. So when Harry and Meghan skipped the tradition during their Australia tour, royal reporters weren't impressed. We'd get together in a pub and we'd talk about everything, get it off our plate. Arthur Edwards, a photographer for The Sun, told the New York Times. It would be frank and open, and you never reported it. Now, it's not even good morning. Nothing. He treats us just like the telegraph poles now. And after what we know now about Harry, and especially Meghan were treated by the press, we can't blame them. Telegraph poles have better manners, and don't spread wild conspiracy theories like these. Number 5. He changed his priorities for the better. Plenty of people complain that couples stop hanging with friends as much after they get married, and pals of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are no different. It's no secret that Harry's former crowd was of the partying sort, but as a husband and father, his priorities have now changed. The move to California probably prompted a reduction in socializing with old friends too. Or maybe his friends just didn't know these things about Prince Harry. Number 4. He encourages young adults to speak up. In March 2019, Prince Harry spoke at an event for W.E. Charity, which aims to encourage social activism among young people. Although the famously cruel British tabloids dismissed it as mumbo-jumbo hippie talk in the Daily Star, the crowd seemed to love his encouraging words about destigmatizing mental health and fighting climate change. I know you don't sit back and wait for reactions, you take action and change them. I am with you, we are with you, he told the audience. Wife Meghan also made a surprise appearance as Harry gave her a shout out, noting her favorite Martin Luther King Jr. quote, Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. His mother, Princess Diana, a humanitarian herself, would have been proud. Number 3. He took matters into his own hands without anyone's help. While Prince Harry has always had royal fans, and has been the subject of many celebrity crushes, he spent much of his childhood and adolescence as his older brother's shadow. The old adage goes that Diana Spencer needed to give birth to an heir and a spare, and while Prince William, Prince of Wales, will most certainly be king one day, his younger brother is much farther away from the throne. As such, he has been afforded more freedoms than William, but has had far less attention paid to him. Katie Nichol wrote a book, Harry, Life, Loss, and Love, where she asserted that Harry has been acutely aware of his position as it relates to his brother, testifying that the young redhead was seldom given the same recognition and treatment as William. However, when Harry married Meghan Markle and took his life into his own hands, things began to drastically change for his positioning in the royal family. After he married Meghan, Harry explained that he and his brother seldom see eye to eye. He said in an ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, an African journey. The part of this role and part of this job is that this family being under the pressure that it's under, inevitably stuff happens. We are certainly on different paths at the moment, but I'll always be there for him. And as I know, he'll always be there for me. Number two, he turned into a man of principles and virtue. If you have noticed Prince Harry lately, he seems to have lost his mischievous and boyish side ever since he married Meghan Markle. Nowadays, he seems to wear a more serious adult expression. And this isn't just us saying, it's according to the body language expert, Judy James. She told The Express, These displays look less about Harry getting grumpy and more about Harry growing up. He'd had three decades of being in the roles of the younger brother, son, grandson, and party prince of the royals. And then he met Meghan and became a husband, father, and fellow campaigner. Number 1. He will protect Meghan because he loves her. Up until Meghan Markle came into Prince Harry's life, the prince had not only enjoyed the luxuries of royal life, but he also navigated the world as a white, accomplished, educated man. The pinnacle of success in a patriarchal culture. 
But it wasn't until he witnessed the racism Meghan faced in the United Kingdom that he began regularly speaking out against it. Publicly speaking to Oprah Winfrey and the couple's sit-down interview, Harry revealed that a large part of why he and Meghan sought a life in California was due to the bigoted and toxic environment the tabloids created. Could you really leave the country because of racism? Well, we didn't know it would be this bad. Harry shared that one of his biggest regrets was not defending his wife sooner. He even went as far as to call out the environment it created and how it directly linked to his mother's death, saying, History was repeating itself. My mother was chased to her death while she was in a relationship with someone that wasn't white. And now look what's happened. This says a lot about their relationship as well, which from the outside seems to be great. And we've come to the end. But wait, we've got a bonus for you. Because there are more reasons of how Meghan Markle changed Prince Harry for the better. This is definitely one of the sweetest and saddest things to come out of the recent interview with Opal Winfrey was Harry's admission that he had felt trapped as a royal before he met Meghan. Without question, she saved me, he said, saying that he didn't see a way out before and that he did not think he could have stepped back from his royal life without Meghan. Harry also expressed compassion for his brother, Prince William, and his father, Prince Charles, who he also described as trapped and unable to leave. What do you think about these points? Do you really think that Meghan Markle has changed Prince Harry like we've mentioned? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Press the bell icon to never miss an upcoming video. Thanks for watching.